Dr. Shabir, welcome to Let the Quran Speak. My pleasure to be on. Let's continue our, our series on hadith. And I want to look at um, the rise of hadith forgery. Can you tell me why this came about? Why were hadith being forged? Uh, the, the forgery start to occur when people cannot uh, remember exactly um, and, uh, and, and they want to make something up. And um, why would people make anything up? Well, uh, sometimes just, just the need to have uh, some instruction. Humans are humans after all. And uh, within the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the Quran notes that there were people within the Muslim community who were not genuinely Muslim. Uh, so we can well imagine that uh, people from, from that angle might come in with things which are not really true. Um, uh, either to serve their own purposes or are just on the spur of the moment. Somebody wants to be the champion who has some information to offer here, even if nobody has any genuine information. Uh, but we also see that uh, there was a, a rise of political entities, mm -hmm. uh, the clashes within the community very early on, some supporting this person, some supporting the other person. After the death of the Prophet, peace be upon him, it wasn't clear to Muslims uh, right away as to who should be the, the person that will take the reign of government after him. Of course, he was a prophet and there could be no one to replace him in his prophetic role, but he was also uh, a, a political leader. 